Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go over how to set up the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant for a single engine prop. Uh, so this can be used, the setup can be used for both constant speed props and variable speed props. Um, that is why we are setting up the prop lever as well. And, and then the way we are setting this up, we should be able to seamlessly transition to a, to a twin engine jet as well. So that's the goal is to make minimum changes to the setup and transition between those two setups. So that's something that I'll be keeping in mind while uh, while we do this setup. So one of the first things that I want you to do is assign, not assign, but attach the throttle, uh, attach the black throttle lever on the far left, uh, prop lever on the center left one and the mixture lever on the center right one. Everything else should be good to go. So once you have that set up, you can go into the sim you can either click on this joystick button at the top uh, from the hovering menu, which will also open up the basic controls, or you can just escape and you can go to the settings, controls, and that way you will also get to the, um, also get to the main menu. You click on the Bravo throttle quadrant and below that you will see general controls, airplane controls, and specific 172 Skyhawk controls. Just to make everything simple, what we're going to do is we'll duplicate general controls, name this as single engine prop, and then we'll just say apply to all aircrafts. Same way for the airplane controls, we will make sure that we are on this Bravo throttle quadrant 2024 planes and not the none profile, because we do want to um, pull over some stuff that is already assigned in this profile. So we'll duplicate this profile again name that as se prop tick on apply to all aircrafts and that should be good to go we are not going to set up any controls that are specific to a certain airplane so if you don't create a new profile for this one it's fine even if you by mistake do create some control which is specific to this airplane it's going to prompt you that hey create a new profile so one thing to remember is that the default profiles that you have here cannot be overridden. It will always ask you to save a new profile whenever you change something while you are on the default profile. So that's something to remember. Once you have set it up this way, anything that you set up on the categories here will all be assigned to either airplane controls or general controls. Most of them will be airplane controls for the throttle quadrant. So first thing uh, you would do is you would unassign all of these switches because they are all jacked up. So just search by input and one by one, just start deleting assigned controls on each of them. I'm going to forward, fast forward this part of the video so that you guys don't have to watch me do it on all of them. Okay, so that was the last of it. Uh, like you saw, you don't just need to unassign one side, you need to unassign both sides. So once you go from here to here, and then you change it, and then you search by the other, other side input and then unassign that one as well. I have no clue why and where this where this base profile comes from, but it's, it's absolutely terrible. So now that we have all of this unassigned, uh, let's start assigning our main stuff here, which is throttle prop and uh, uh, throttle prop and the mixture. So for that, you'll go to power management. It's easiest to do it this way. Go to throttle, and then unassign everything in throttle. Delete this. Throttle two axis. Delete this, and delete this. Okay. So everything is empty now in throttle. And what we are looking for here is throttle axis. That's all we are looking for. Throttle axis, assign it to this one. And then high chances that this axis might be inverted. So you go here and set inverted axis and then come back. Throttle is done. You go to prop again, just like throttle, delete everything here. I know it's a pain, but once you set it up, you'll be good to go on any prop, um, any single engine props. Okay, so the prop section is all clear now. And like you would guess, we would select propeller axis, nothing else but propeller axis. 
and then assign that to our blue lever here and that is it if you think that the propeller axis once you're in a in a constant speed prop plane if you think that propeller ax axis also needs to be inverted you can come here and set inverted axis for now since we are flying the 172 i won't be able to tell whether it's uh, inverted or not again uh, last one coming to the mixture delete everything none of this is correct make sure you delete each and every part of this otherwise you'll have some conflicting controls and your mixture might be going all crazy during the flight um, here what you're looking for is mixture axis 0 to 100 move the red lever top to bottom and then again high chances that it's inverted so just check um, set inverted axis go back and now that we have set that up we'll give that a quick check here in the airplane so let's get in the airplane and hide the yoke so make sure full make sure full lean throttle full throttle cut off looks great let's go back into our settings menu controls bravo throttle quadrant make sure that we are on se prop and then now what we'll do is we'll set up the gear high chances that the gear is already set up correctly in that base profile that we pulled from um, but we'll do it anyways so if the gear lever is down you would click on gear up and then put the gear lever up and then down now before clicking on gear down pull the gear lever up click on gear down put it down and then back up that should set up your gear um, gear lever correctly here and then same way for the flaps high chances that they should be set up correctly from the base profiles that we choose but we will uh, we will we will set it up anyway so for increased flaps you would push this down and for decreased flaps you would put this button up so yeah that was set up correctly already uh, in msfs 2020 when you click on some button you used to see that that button is getting activated on here uh, but for some reason they removed this in msfs 2024 and now no matter what button you're pressing you just can't see what's going on um, on the controls page so that's a bummer and it was really helpful if 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 i just open up this assigned page it was really helpful to just click on stuff and see okay which one's getting activated they've also removed all the button numbers from here from the hardware picture so i don't know who made this ui but it's really bad so okay so throttle is set up uh, gear is set up we don't need to set up this whole autopilot panel the only thing now you have to worry about is these switches what do you want to assign these switches for right so the way i do it is um, i assign the first one for battery second one for avionics or fuel pump depending on which airplane it is uh, third one for say rotating beacon nav lights landing lights uh, strobe lights and i think pitot heat so you can assign all of that here just make sure that you're assigning it to what's uh, called set master battery set landing lights set uh, um, rotating beacon lights not to toggle not to on or off none of those just assign it to set okay so we'll i'll do a couple of demos here uh, set master battery we'll assign it to this one and then the next one i'll make that maybe avionics so we'll assign that to set avionics master the second switch so click on it click it back and then the next one i'll assign it to the rotating beacon because that's something that we turn on before we start the engine probably just beacon yeah set beacon lights so that's the i believe that's the third one okay yeah third one so now now just like that you can assign the rest of the four switches to whatever you want just make sure that you're assigning to the set functions not the on and off or toggle functions just remember that 
okay so now if we go back uh, let's also check out our light switches and battery switches and everything make sure it worked right so first one was our battery master you can probably put uh, stickers on that or something removable that you can just swap between airplanes let's get this out of the way okay so that turns on the battery master you can also assign something to alternator master or you can assign the same switch to battery and alternator master set battery alternate set battery master and set alternator master can go on the same switch okay so that is good avionics master i don't know why this one's not working because probably there's something wrong with the airplane but uh beacon light comes on just fine turns off just fine and i don't think we assigned this one but you see how that works so you can assign landing, taxi, nav, strobe, anything to these rest of the four switches and it will work just fine. Okay, so we are flying around uh, San Diego right now and uh, looks like, so like I said, right, all the, all the autopilot panel buttons work just fine. So for example, right now I'm, at, I'm, on, the, I'm on the altitude uh, setting and I'm able to set the altitude, right? If I go to the V-speed, I'm able to set the V-speed, right? If I, if I go to heading, I'm able to set the heading. If I go to course, I can set that as well in that. And then IAS, obviously there's no option here to set IAS, but you should be able to do that in the Boeings as well. So this, this panel is fairly straightforward and set up correctly. So for example, now if I want to change from, um, what is this? Uh, maybe change to altitude mode, you will see that it, it changes to altitude mode and now we are holding altitude. If I want to change that to V speed mode, uh, you'll see that I changed to V speed mode and now I can, uh, I can edit the V speed by just going to VS here and then upping the V speed or, or reducing the V speed. So it works very seamlessly overall. Uh, even the nav and approach buttons work just fine. So nothing to change here, but that's pretty much the overall setup for, uh, for the throttle quadrant to fly a single engine prop. Uh, the trim wheel is also correctly set but i use the buttons on my yoke for elevator trim uh, i'm not using the trim wheel currently because it just seems very slow like i have to rotate it multiple times for it to uh, for it to trim right but uh, by default the autopilot panel and the trim wheel from that base profile that we duplicated it should be all set up correctly Anyway, that was it for this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure you like and subscribe uh, for more videos like these.